So welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about post increment and pre increment. Now, just to start with post and pre increment, let's start an example. So let's say we have int a and the value for a is five. Okay, why uh, a? Let's go for why a? Let's go for i. And okay, what next? So once you have this value, which is i equal to five, let's apply some operations. So let's say I want to go for i equal to i plus one. And when you say i equal to i plus one, how it will evaluate is, so it will fetch the value of i, which is five. It will add one to five, which is six. The value of i will be six, right? So let's say s out and let's print the value of i. And if I run this code and the answer is six, of course, that's what we're expecting, right? Now, uh, just to simplify this thing, since this is a line where you're adding a number to itself, so you're adding one to itself, right? So in Java, we have something called a shorthand for this that we have seen in the last video or in the subsequent last tutorials. Uh, so this is shorthand, right? So which simply means i equal to i plus one. So instead of writing i equal to i plus one, we are simply saying i plus equal to one, which means you have to increment i by one. And when you want to add only one, we can simply use this thing called as i plus plus. So instead of using i plus equal to one, we can use i plus plus, right? So now if I run this, the answer is six, right? So it's the same thing. Now what happens? You know, it's uh, up till this point it seems perfect. But let's say we have an example. Let's take int j, and then we are saying j value is i and when you run this of course the value of j will be oh so you are printing i let's print j so of course the value of j will be 5 right because we are assigning the value of i to j but what happens when i say i plus plus now as it seems this i plus plus is same as i equal to i plus 1 right so what it should do it's an assign it should increase increment the value of i from 5 to 6 it should assign 6 value to j and the output should be 6 right that's what we are expecting here and when you run this code oh we are again getting a value which is 5 now the problem is this thing here this is called as post increment okay again how this works we'll discuss in some time now let's say we have one more something called as plus plus i now plus plus i and i plus plus both will do this operation but the name is so when you have i plus plus so when you, whenever you have i plus plus it is called as post increment and whenever you have plus plus i this is called as pre increment okay now since we know this name let's try to print the value of this so let's see the output of j and the output is 6. That means whenever you use i++ you're getting 5 and whenever you use plus plus i you're getting 6. It's because there's something called as increment and assignment. Now whenever you use plus plus i, whenever you use plus plus i, it will first increment and then it will assign and that's why it's called as pre-increment. So it is pre. So first it will increment and then it will assign. So when you are getting a value of i as 5, it will first increment the value since it is plus plus. It will make it 6 and then it will assign the value to j. And that's why the value of j here is 6. But what if we are writing uh, not i pl uh, plus plus i, but let's write i plus plus. In this case, we are first assigning the value and then we are incrementing it. Now when you assign the value of i, currently value of i is 5. So j will get 5 and then i will increment. Now just show, to show the proof, let me also print the value of i. Okay. And now if I run the if I print the value of i, so j is 5 and i is 6. Right? So we have j and i. So j is 5 because we are first assigning it and then we are incrementing it. So that's how post and pre-increment works. But if you think this is simple, let's go for one more example. Now let's say we have i equal to i plus plus. Now what should be the output of i here? Now since we don't have any j variable, let's remove j, let's focus only on i. Now it seems very easy, right? We have a post increment, okay, and then we assign the value. So what will be the output? So we are, we are guessing 
Even if you assign a value of i to i, which is 5, we are still incrementing it, right? So the i value of i should be 6. That's how, that's what we are guessing here. So if I run this, the value is still 5. Uh, why? Now the problem is, when you say i++, plus plus, it will first assign, right? But you will say, okay, even if you are assigning the value, we are still incrementing it, right? So the ultimate value for i should be 6. That This, this is what we have done in the last example, where you have int j here, and we are still writing i++. Plus plus. When we print i, the value was 6. But in this, but this time we are getting value as 5. It's because using this statement is same as this. So when you say i is equal to i, it's something in this way. So basically you're using a variable which is int temp. Uh, the initial value for temp will be i. And then you're incrementing the value of i. Okay, and then again you're saying i equal to temp. So this thing is almost same like this. You're doing this thing. Okay. So now if I comment this part, see the output here. If I run this, it still says 5. This is what happening behind the scene. Now you will say how this is possible is because when you use post increment or any type of increment assign the same value here. So it will first assign the value to i. So the, imagine that's as a temp. It will not assign first. It will fetch the value from here. So it is fetching the value as in showing in temp. Then it is incrementing. So your i value is getting 6 here once. But the value which is which you have fetch, fetched here which, which is 5, right? And you are saying the same value again. And that's why you are getting 5. So this thing here is same as this thing. Cool, right? So that's how you work with post and pre-increment. So but that's it. That's how you work with this. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for other videos.